Hey everyone, my name is Wedge, I'm back, and you read the title of this video correctly. Our exclusive Rivals of Ixalan preview card is here, so without further ado, let me introduce you to Nezahal Primal Tide. Five of anything and two blue for a 7-7 legendary creature elder dinosaur that can't be countered. You also have no maximum hand size. Whenever an opponent casts a non-creature spell, draw a card. And you can discard three cards to exile Nezahal and return to the battlefield tapped under its owner's control at the beginning of the next end step. My... Goodness, Nezahal is dang near impossible to deal with. For an Elder Dinosaur without any keywords, it does a heck of a lot. Let's go step by step. Seven mana for a 7-7 is pretty expensive these days, which means the card has to come with a lot to make that expense worth it. Nezahal can't be countered. That's a big screw you to control players or really anyone playing counter spells. At least you know that when you cast this thing, it's going to hit the battlefield. Next, you have no maximum hand size, and whenever an opponent casts a non-creature spell, draw a card. Against a control deck, this is basically a nightmare for them. Can't be countered, and their whole deck is made up of non-creature spells, right? And you have no maximum hand size, so whenever they do anything, you get to draw cards. And not only is that great in general, because more cards are always good, but that last ability, my goodness! If Nezahal wasn't already difficult to deal with, it can protect itself from removal. You know that your opponent isn't going to want this on the battlefield, but they can't counter it, so they'll have to remove it. Giant target on this dinosaur snake thing's head. But apparently Nezahal comes with all the answers. For three cards in your hand, you can protect it real easy. And the best part is that Nezahal fuels this ability by itself. Sure, discarding three cards is a big deal, but when you're drawing on every non-creature spell cast, including the piece of removal that's trying to hit Nezahal, I think you're gonna be okay. It's rare that we find a creature that does so much for itself, and Nezahal, kind of the entire package, with an anti-control menace, it's truly, truly ridiculous. Now, if we're looking for places where Nezahal can be useful, you know me, and you know I'm going straight to Commander. While being uncounterable is great, and drawing cards whenever any opponent casts a non-creature spell, Nezahal's most dangerous ability, at least to me, is that last one. The ability to discard three cards to protect itself. I'm sure thematically this doesn't really fit, but when I first read that, I thought zombies. Zombie commander decks love discard engines. They love being able to draw extra cards, and Nezahal fits into every single one of them. Gisa and Garolf, you can discard zombies to play with the human wizard. The Scarab God, Nezahal fuels the god's activated ability, giving it a disturbing amount of reach and power. Power. You can even put Nezahal into Cedrus for some crazy unearth shenanigans. Draw new because you can keep discarding spells if you want. I think you get my point. Nezahal's ability has a plethora of uses, and while it is expensive, it's a powerhouse in a multiplayer format where players are casting non-creature spells all the time. Nezahal is a commander all-star. What a stud muffin. Personally, I think Nezahal Primal Tide is pretty insane, but I'd love to hear what you think about it. Please be sure to let me know all your thoughts in the comments, and we can talk about it. I'm really interested to hear what you come up with. Also, huge thanks to Wizards of the Coast for including us in preview season once again, and an even bigger thanks to all of you for watching. Seriously, I love you like family. I do hope you enjoyed the video, and stay tuned for more Rivals of Ixalan coverage, because yeah, I'm back. And as always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.